All right, it's not time for Dodger baseball, but instead, it's time to share my bobblehead collection now that I fully displayed it. Filled up the cabinets, six of them. So we'll start right over here with this year's. Will Smith, interesting thing about that one is the uh, home plate is backwards, if you haven't noticed yet. So far, I think we have 168 bobbleheads minus a couple specials, but the standard stadium giveaways total 168 right now, with the last one uh, being Freddie Freeman. Poor Walker. We got six more to go this year. Austin Barnes, Dustin May, Mookie, JT, to name a few. It's pretty cool. You know, it doesn't really look like Max Muncy a whole lot, but. One of my favorites. So this was 2020 slash 2021. Um, I say 2020 because the Justin Turner you could have purchased in 2020 and received via mail and then they handed him out again for the reopening in 2021 when we went back to full compa full capacity from uh, partial capacity at Dodger Stadium. He was the handout. Um, a lot of people love that Julio Urias with the Mexican flag representing the uh, moment where we won the World Series. And there's Mookie. He gets another one this year, but that one's pretty badass. And Fernando Mania back there. So we've got 2022 and 2021. Now we'll go back to 2019, Senor Jose, got him autographed at FanFest, um, right there you can see it, this JT's autographed as well, got that one at FanFest, and Kershaw on the side of the helmet is autographed, got that one at Petco, and then 2019 continues over here, they handed a lot of bobbleheads out that year. Two playoff bellies. I got the gray and the home white. That's the playoff MVP home white. Back there is the road gray. And then this was the standard Cody Bellinger bobblehead for the year. And that was my first bobblehead ever that got me started. Max Muncy, a little off color there. I don't know, he must have something bad to eat that day. But there it was, that, that's the one that started it all for me. And then 2018, that Justin Turner is autographed as well. Twenty eighteen continued. Matt Kemp. Chase Utley. Rich Hill. There's a Twitter account called Rich Hill's Blister. That was always a funny account name for me. Handle. Someone was clever. And then everybody's favorite Dodger of all time. Uh, that's sarcasm for you people who struggle with sarcasm. You gotta be careful what you say on social media these days. People take everything so literally. And we go back in time to 2017. Kershaw with a bat. How about that? Probably won't see many pitcher bobbleheads with bats anymore. 
Dave Roberts, Manager of the Year, Corey Seager, Silver Slugger. Um, there's a Cody Bellinger, Jock Peterson, and then we got Adrian Gonzalez and JT back there doing the selfie poses. Julio Urias with his glasses. A pretty bad Kenley. Kenley Jansen bobblehead. Doesn't even look like him. Andre Easier. And then this was a cool year, 2016. That Kenta Maeda is huge. Takes up a lot of room. Once again, another bobblehead who really doesn't look like the player at all. Corey Seager, pretty bad. <laughs> hey, what do you expect? Vin Scully, I give him a 6 out of 10 on that one. And then we got Pedro Guerrero, Jaeger, and Ron Say back there. And the GOAT. So there's 2016. Bring it back to 2015. We got another Vin Scully. Not too bad. We got Clayton with his uh, Cy Young Award. JT. First year JT. Adrian Gonzalez. Juan Uribe. Fernando Mania. And there is KJ. California love. Sure do miss hearing that. Puig, that's a pretty big one. He's sliding. And another goat in his own time, in his own right. Sandy Koufax. Not too bad. Kind of looks like him. That was a pretty good year, I guess. Now we'll go back down here. see what we got. Another Puig. So many people don't like Yasiel. I, I loved him. 2018 at home in the World Series, he hit that home run and the Dodger Stadium was rocking. Rich Hill had the one hitter gone and Dave Roberts pulled him. In came Scott Alexander. We all knew, well, we all know the rest of that story. There's your 30 home run quartet. Yeah, boy. Back in the day, that was something. Detroit Tigers had a version of that. Trammell, Whitaker, Evans, and I forget the fourth guy off the top of my head, but... 80s baseball is where I grew up. Babe Ruth. Pretty cool one. And there's Clayton. Doesn't really look like Clayton, but you know, he's got a Cy Young down there. I mean, I'm not sure who that really is, but um, I don't think it's Clayton Kershaw. Kind of looks like he might be in a gang or something. Kinjin Ryu. Zach Grinky. AJ Ellis. On to the next year. One of my favorites. One of my favorites. Rick Monday with the flag. Jaime Harin. That's one nice dude right there. He will sign uh, anything for you and take pictures with you if he sees you in the hallway. Don't hesitate to say hi to Jaime at Dodger Stadium if you run into him. Because I never got to say hi to this guy and uh, I never will get that chance again or ever and that's uh, going to be a big regret but it is what it is and there's the goat again goat part one hideo hurricane nomo 
that captured his wind up pretty good. Adrian Gonzalez again. And Lee Ramirez. Would have been a perfect game, but we'll take the no hitter. Remember when Heinley was a star for the Marlins? There's Don Sutton. Matt Kemp, a fan favorite. Why not? And then we got Vince Scully at the desk doing his thing. Fernando Mania is no hitter. June 29th, 1990. Late in the career. No one saw that one coming. MVP back there. Kirk Gibson, 1988 MVP. Eric Karros, all time home run leader for the Dodgers. EK, now doing broadcasts. I like him. A lot of people don't like him. I like Eric. Don Drysdale and Mari Willis. Or Wills, sorry about that. Uh, all my life I've called him Willis for some reason or another. Now, I did get the Mari Wills bobblehead this year, and I bought a mystery ball bag, and in the bag on the bobblehead night for Mari Wills, I got a Mari Wills autographed ball, which was pretty cool to get on his bobblehead night. And there's the infield. Mr. Steve Garvey. See him at the stadium a lot? He will say hi and sign almost anything, too. Very nice guy. Davy Lopes. I call Davy Martinez Davy Lopes a lot. People always correct me. You mean Davy Martinez? Oh, yeah. Bill Russell. Ron Say, the Penguin. You see him at the stadium a lot, too. He's on part of the Dodgers uh, veteran outreach, community outreach team. So you see Ron around uh, the stadium a lot. Walter and Tommy, two retired numbers there. Mike Sosha should be the manager in Major League Baseball somewhere, but for some reason he's not. Angels ruined that. They really had a good manager there. Koufax, Hall of Fame inductee, 1972. And back here in the corner, who do we have? The Bulldog. And 1988 Cy Young Award winner, Mr. 59 Plus. So this year, they didn't have that many bobbleheads. It was the year after this they started cranking them out. There's old Don Mattingly. Boy, that guy could hit some home runs with the Yankees in the 80s. And that guy hit some home runs, too. Clayton, rookie. Rookie bobblehead, anyway. Not rookie year, but I think that's his first bobblehead. Matt Kemp. Yeah. So so, Broxton back there. We use lights out closer. Manny Ramirez, probably a Red Sox, Red Sox more than anything. Farewell, Manny. Matt Kemp again. James Loney and Andre Ethier. Not too bad. Casey Blake got a bobblehead. And now we'll scoot over here down the home stretch. Tommy, Raphael Furcal, Russell Martin, one of my favorites. Two tours with the Dodgers. Noma. Noma Casiapara. Will you park your car? Brad Penny. Saito, Joe ba Bimel, Joe Torrey in the back. And then we'll swing it over here. I didn't take these out of the boxes. 
I just kept them in the boxes. They got a lot of that white flume stuff and it was just getting everywhere. So we got Jeff Kent. Ron Say, Fernando. Ron Say, Fernando, Steve Garvey. And then over here, boy, he had some fire in him, didn't he? You knew when that guy came into the game. Don Drysdale, Don Newcomb, the first Cy Young Award winner for the Dodgers. Brian Jordan, Gagne, and McGriff. And then our very first bobbleheads ever, 2001, Tommy, Fernando, Kirk. And then the second three bobbleheads in 2002, we had uh, Sean Green, Paul Laduco, Hidia Nomo back there. Paul LaDuca was one of my favorite catchers. Especially when you were drafting fantasy teams. I always picked Paul LaDuca. So anyway, those are those. So that's... That's all the bobbleheads. Except for a few. And up there I have... Uh, Let's see, what do I got here? Uh, that's Zach McKinstry's batting helmet from last year. Zach McKinstry. Cool little Vince Scully Avenue sign. Uh, that's Tim LeCastro's batting helmet. We got him for the postseason run, um, I think 2017 or 2018? 2017, yeah. Because this one actually has something pretty cool on it. There you go. He didn't really play, but they got him for a pinch runner, and then they really never used him. And then uh, Brian Oaks did that for Melanie when she was going through chemo. And that's the night we sat in the home run or the dugout club on July 5th, 2019. The night of the uh, earthquake at Dodger Stadium, we were playing the Padres, ended up losing. It was a Friday night, first time we ever sat in the uh, dugout club. Pretty cool. So he did a little print for us, for her, really. And, oh, there's another one of my favorites this year's Julio with the, uh, the City Connect jerseys. I'm not a big fan of them, but I like the bobblehead. Dodgers just don't win when they wear them. And then over here, got the... Uh, World Series balls from the 81 World Series on. And then here we have uh, the Star Wars bobbles and the Dia de los Dodgers. That's uh, the first Dia de los Dodgers bobblehead. That was from last season. And then that was from 2019. Hun Solo, Kenley Calrissian, Oral Juan Kenobi. And then down here are all the fun run bobbleheads from the years since they started doing them in 2018, I think. 2018, 2017 maybe. I can't remember. And then uh, a special edition talking broadcaster, Scully, and uh, the four no-hitters for uh, Sandy Koufax limited edition, along with the Hello Kitties and uh, Billie Jean King special bobblehead from 2019, her playing tennis, and uh, the ring set, which I shared already on Twitter. They're real shiny in person. The video camera doesn't pick it up as well. 
Now I know you have to move this camera very slowly. It's a lot slower than you think. Oh, and the Mini Fernando from the All-Star game. Only, I think, 3,000 of them were handed out. And the Sandy Koufax statue. Now, um, if you want to know how I display these things, well, right here, um, I have a baseball square I got from uh, Hobby Lobby online. With uh, one cute baseball cube, you can make two of these stands. And then here's a hockey puck display, which when they come out, it has a little lid. So you can use them upside down. And then you can put them in here. They're hard to see, but they're in there, and that's what everything is uh, raised up on. Baseball cubes, and you gotta get the square cubes, not the rounded ones, the square ones work best. And the hockey puck holders give you uh, another option for a layer, for staggering them height-wise. And then those in the back are actually sitting on a baseball cube and a hockey puck holder. So you can build them up a little bit, but I don't go too high because if you bump the cabinet, I don't want them to fall over and break. So anyway, that right there is my bobblehead collection. Everyone since 2001. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Hit me up with any, any questions in the comments.